The lesson I'm gonna show you today is a symmetry lesson for second grade. And we're gonna do this project two different ways. One of the ways is an example of bilateral symmetry, and the second way is an example of radial symmetry. The great thing about this project is it's very simple, and it's also very inexpensive. Um, so when I do this with a second grade class, I usually let them make several attempts at both the radial and the bilateral. Um, so the first thing you need is just inexpensive coffee filters like these. Um, markers, just magic markers, a foam brush, small cup of water, and paper towels. And the paper towels are just gonna help keep their desk area clean because you are using the water. Um, but if you, their desk might get a little messy, but because we're just using Crayola markers, they clean up fairly easily and quickly. We're gonna start with the bilateral symmetry first. So you're gonna take one coffee filter, have the students get it nice and flat, and then fold it in half. And the more carefully they fold it in half, the better the bilateral symmetry will uh, appear. Most of the students will have no problem folding it in half. You might have a couple that just need a little bit of help. If you want, you could even pre-fold these and just take them ready to go. Um, but this is not a time-consuming project, so usually you'll have time to fold them and even help them fold them if you need to do. Okay, so after they flatten it, now they're gonna use that foam brush. And actually what I like to have them do is just to put some paper towels underneath their coffee filter. So then they're gonna take that foam brush and they're gonna get the coffee filter completely wet. And the goal here is completely wet, but not dripping. So it's gonna look like this. It kind of changes, it's almost more see-through once it's totally wet. And they can kind of see those dry spots if they have them. So they want it totally wet, but again, there shouldn't be any water dripping off of it. Just wet so that they can tell the whole thing's wet. So then they're just gonna use those magic markers to draw designs on the coffee filter. And they're only gonna draw the designs on one side. So they're not gonna flip it over and draw designs, they're just gonna draw designs on the one side. So they can do any pattern they want. And this, way, this is why this is a fun one for them is there's not a lot of rules to how they do the design on their coffee filter. They can completely fill it with color. They can draw designs. They can make it look abstract. They can, whatever they want. So they, they can really get creative this one. And then after they're all done with their design, when they open it up, and sometimes it's a little tricky to get the, get it open. There we go. And then here is the example of bilateral symmetry. So sometimes they do get a little confused because you've talked about radial symmetry and they associate it with a circle. So if you ask them what type of symmetry is, often they will initially say radial because it is a circle. So you can talk to them about how it is bilateral still because the two sides match rather than having kind of the wedges that repeat from the center. So that's the first one. And what I usually do is I have them make one and then I give them one or two more coffee filters and I let them make one or two more now that they've got the idea of how it's gonna work. And again, it goes really quickly. So if you have an hour, hour and 15 minutes, they have time to make several of these. So that's the bilateral. So now we're gonna work on the, um, the radial symmetry. So for the radial symmetry, it's gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna start the same. They're going to first fold it in half, but then we're gonna keep folding. So we're gonna fold it again one more time. And if they kind of take the time to kind of crease it a little bit, it'll fold better and then fold it one more time. And if they don't fold them exact or perfect, it's, it'll still turn out just fine. So they wanna make sure that they put this on a clean part of their paper towel or a new paper towel. If they put it 
where they've already worked, that marker will soak into it. So this one, rather than get it wet first, we're gonna use the markers first and then get the coffee filter wet. So now, same thing. You're just gonna have them, they're gonna work from one to one side and they're gonna draw those, whatever patterns they want to do. Okay, so now I have finished coloring a design just on one side. So the other side's still gonna look white. And then what they're gonna do is now they're gonna soak this through while it's still folded. And they wanna get it really wet. They wanna get it wet so that the water soaks all the way through all the layers of the coffee filter. And that's gonna require it to be pretty wet. And they can turn it over and see if it's wet or not. And that's sometimes what they need help with is seeing what it looks like when it's wet because sometimes they'll open it and it'll still be dry and then the color hasn't um, soaked through all the layers. So again, this one's going to be quite a bit wetter. They might need, might need one more paper towel just to get the make sure it's not dripping and then they're going to open it up just like we did the other one. And this one you don't see as much of the detail, but they still can see the radial symmetry and how the pattern radiates from the center. And it kind of has almost a tie-dye effect when they open it all up. They can be tricky to open up. And there we go. So you can show them how they can see those examples of how those wedges are all symmetrical and how these the pattern radiates from the center. So after they've done um, this one, you can let them try it again. What I find is sometimes some of them really prefer the radial or they really prefer the bilateral, and I give them a couple more... Um, a couple more coffee filters and let them keep trying and they kind of figure it out and they have a lot of fun with it and it just is a good project where they really get to be creative totally on their own and experiment with different colors and and how they uh, blend one thing that i find interesting on the radial symmetry is some of the kids get a little frustrated with them because they can't control the pattern as much as they can with the bilateral because it blends so much more The last step of this project that I like to do is I like to have them pick their favorites. So maybe if they've made four or five or six, they can then pick their two or three favorite and put them on a piece of black paper. The black paper is nice. It kind of makes those colors pop. But just a little bit of advice when they're putting them on the black paper, if they're using a glue stick, the glue stick will tear this up because this paper is the coffee filters, such thin paper. So I have them place them where they want them on the black paper and then hold it down and put some glue, you know, fold it and put some, just have them put the glue directly on the construction paper rather than the glue on the coffee filter. And they do need to wait till they're dry or they won't stick well. So mine are still a little bit wet. Um, so if you're in the classroom and you don't have time to wait for them to dry, they do dry really quickly, but I then have them go ahead and place them on the black paper, make sure that they've written their name on the front or back, and then they can let them dry like this and then come back and add the glue and then they'll be done. So again, this is second grade symmetry and they have learned how to make both bilateral and radial symmetry.